Our third performer from Tennessee today is a young bass baritone from Lookout Mountain, just north of Chattanooga. Please welcome 16 year old Thomas West. So, from the top came to Chattanooga, Tennessee in April of 2012, and I was completely overwhelmed that they asked me to be on the show. So for me, the performance was awesome, and being on stage was amazing. But really, my strongest memory happened the day after the show in the arts leadership workshop that we did in the morning, and then followed by my trip to Dalewood Middle School that afternoon. Just stretch up to the side. All right, so start, just start whatever you're to do. If you're a bass, you want to do like the dog down here. Or if you're a soprano, like here somewhere up there. Just wherever it is, just start for your lowest note and just go up to as high as you possibly can. You can do the hand. You'd really have to say that the arts leadership outreach changed my life. Seeing the lack of resources that Daywood Middle School had compared to my school, then I did a little more research and I found out that only 18 out of roughly 130 public schools in Hamilton County had fully funded arts programs. I came up with a project called Let Beauty Awaken. We set ourselves the goal of making a CD of young musicians to sell to raise money for arts and schools. And later we also decided to organize a big benefit concert. It took over a year and there was a lot of rejection, but I just wouldn't stop. If a person said no, I'd ask again. If someone didn't reply to my emails, I'd send another one. It got to the point where sometimes people would just give me a meeting in hopes of making me go away. And finally, I got to a place where adults would listen. One of those adults became one of my greatest mentors. He's the executive director of the McKinsey Foundation, Johnny Smith. What impressed me about Thomas was as a teenager, he wanted to um, bring awareness to the lack of performing art with performing art, which I thought was a very clever move and that he took his personal time, where most teenagers would be preoccupied with doing things for themselves, uh, to raise interest and awareness in the community with uh, community leaders and individuals and businesses. And then in November of 2013, we held a major benefit concert. The whole project ended up raising over $14,000. But as we got closer to producing the concert, we realized we wanted something that would continue beyond the bunch of us who had worked on this big fundraising project. So we came up with an organization we'd hoped would be ongoing, and we called it Regenerate. Now Regenerate is a group of 28 high school art students from 14 high schools in the area. We brainstorm about how to advocate for arts programs for kids in Chattanooga, and we're going to continue to hold big events to raise money for that in the future. We meet at the offices of this nonprofit in Chattanooga called Arts Build. Their director of grants and initiatives, Rodney Van Valkenburg, was cool enough to partner with us. The reason I think that this uh, program has uh, uh, has legs is, is going to have uh, sustain itself uh, is that it's really embracing uh, young people who have leadership skills and uh, have an aptitude toward the arts, and those seem to go together uh, very well. Uh, ensemble creativity, problems, all, the, all those great things that the arts bring that these young people demonstrate in leadership. So the whole idea is that kids we're meeting with now, they're all sophomores and juniors, nominated from local high schools in the area, will train other kids next year and in the future, for years to come.